straighten up your back, alleviate your aches and pains, and yes, even improve your posture in just six minutes with this super effective exercise routine that you can do on a foam roller. Now, poor posture can be a contributing factor to a lot of the different aches and pains that you might be experiencing. Tension headache, neck pain, shoulder and kind of upper trap muscle tightness, muscle knots in this area, even shoulder pain, impingement, can all be attributed to poor posture. And if we can help you to correct your posture, a lot of times it really helps to improve some of those common conditions. So that is what I hope to share with you today. This is a routine that I give to my patients in my physical therapy clinic all the time. I know that it's super effective, and I hope that you find it to be alleviating to your pain and to improve your posture as well. Now for this routine, we're obviously going to need a foam roller. The one that I have is a medium density foam roller. It's a little more comfortable to lay on for these exercises. It's six inches in diameter and then it's 36 inches in length. I like the longer length because you're able to lay on it and it's able to support your entire spine from your head all the way to your tailbone. Most gyms and Pilates studios, yoga studios, things like that will have access to one of these. If you don't have access to one or would like to pick one up for your own, check the link down in the description. I've actually linked to the one that I have right here in my house. So I hope that that helps you out. Now, before we jump right in with the exercises, I need you to do one quick thing for me, and this is really going to prove to you how effective these exercises are. I want you to lay down flat on your back. So get down right now, get down on the floor, lay down flat on your back with your legs extended, your feet below you, and just see how that feels. Kind of, I want you to take a mental snapshot on how that feels. Pay attention, where are the high pressure points? What's the pressure like behind your head? What's it like under your shoulder blades? What's it like under your tailbone? Pay attention to the areas where there's high pressure and pay attention to the areas where there's low pressure. Make a mental note of how that feels because we're about to change it completely and we're gonna do it right now. For this routine, we're gonna be right down here on the floor. I'm gonna run you through three different foam roller exercises. We'll do them for two minutes each. They're all going to take place in the same position. I've got the timer taken care of, so you can go ahead and leave that up to me. The only other thing that you're going to need is a towel for the first exercise. So to get in position, what I want you to do is sit down right on the very edge of your foam roller, and then go ahead and lay down on your back. Again, because of the 36 inch length, we should be supported from our tailbone to our head, all of those points in contact with the foam roller. I'll go ahead and I'll push start on my two minute timer. And what you're going to do is grab your towel, just like this, we're gonna hold it right here above our heads. Sorry, I fixed my shirt. We're gonna hold it right here, and then nice and slow, we're gonna lower that towel all the way down to the floor, just until we get a good stretch all the way through the front of the shoulders right through the front of the chest, and then we're going to return back to that starting position. So let's even bring it down to our hips, and then we're gonna come up and over our head, just nice and comfortable. We're gonna hang out up here for about five to 10 seconds, just nice and easy. We're gonna breathe into this. Try not to hold your breath while you're doing these exercises. So here we go, breathe in, and then breathe out. And then that's gonna promote a lot of good relaxation through your back, relaxation through your shoulders, looks just like this. Just a nice, comfortable stretch is all that we're going for. Nice job, you guys. Again, I've got a two minute timer counting down. Looks just like that. You're gonna feel that pinch in between your shoulder blades, kind of feel that retract down that way. What we wanna do is pull those shoulder blades back, so kind of towards our spine, and then also down as well. That's where they need to be seated. That's what's really gonna help to correct that posture up there in your upper back. So it looks just like this. Nice job. I might mention sometimes with my patients, this one will be aggravating, like if you do have some shoulder pain. What I want you to do is go as far as you can pain free. So don't force that all the way down if your shoulder is bugging it, or if it's bugging your shoulder, if your shoulder is limiting that motion. You don't need to force that all the way down. Just go as low as you can comfortably. Hang out there for again about five to 10 seconds, and then we'll just keep repeating until that timer goes off. You should be just about there. There it is, right on cue. Our next exercise is going to be like a snow angel or a jumping jack. I'll get the timer reset, two minutes. And so I'm gonna lay again on my back, palms are up, and my hands are right here at my hips. 
and then I'm going to drag my knuckles along the ground all the way up and over my head just until my hands touch above my head and then right back down. Now this one, if you do have some postural issues going on or if you do have shoulder pain, it can be a little hard kind of right here in this mid-range to keep your hands down. Um, if your hands have to come off of the floor a little bit to kind of get through that sticking point, I'm totally okay with that. Do whatever is comfortable for you, especially if this is your first time trying this workout out or trying these exercises out. We might be a little tight initially if this is the first time that you've done it. And so to have those hands come up off of the ground, that's okay. Try not to force them down to the ground. Um, just kind of, you know, whatever is most comfortable for you. So just like that. So we're dragging up and back. So it looks just like that. Nice and slow. Try not to hold your breath. Remember to breathe. Just feel that nice, comfortable stretch as we go up and down. And again, that stretch is all through the front of the chest, right through the front of the shoulders. You're gonna feel that down in through your back. Sometimes um, if, the, if the patient that I'm working with has neck pain or tension headaches, I'll even have them do a chin tuck up here. So what that looks like is you're just gonna tuck your chin down just to kind of push your neck, or excuse me, push your chin down into your neck. Kind of keeps your neck and your upper spine in a little bit more neutral position while you're doing this. And once again, timer's counting down for two minutes. Nice and slow, about five to 10 seconds up. Hold up at the top for a couple of seconds, and then about five to 10 seconds down. Just like that, excellent. And then, okay, the next exercise, the last exercise, is going to be similar to the first one, but now we're going to alternate our hands. And so right now, right hand above my head, left hand at my hip, stretch for just a second, and then we're going to switch that up. So now my right hand comes down, right hand is at my hip now, left hand is up and above my head, and then we're going to alternate just like this. So about five to 10 seconds, hold at the top, and then about a five to 10 second hold at the bottom. Looks just like that. Now it's crucial that I mention as we're wrapping this up, as we're on this last exercise, that these are great stretches. And this is a great way that you can really fix your posture really quickly. However, the effects of this aren't going to last as long as you probably want them to. For that reason, it's important that you come back and it's important that you perform this regularly. I have my patients on this about two to three times a day, but really you could do more than that if it's convenient for you to do so. However, it's one thing to put yourself into the right position. It's quite another to stay in the right position. So what we wanna do is actually follow up these stretches in this routine with some good strengthening exercises to hold your back in that nice, proper position. Once again, this is going to put you in the right position. It's important after this to follow this up with some back strengthening and some postural strengthening exercises that will hold you in that right spot in order to see improvement. Lucky for you, I've got that all taken care of. What I want you to do is when we're done here, you can check the description down below this video where I've linked to a few of my favorite postural routines. Those will really help you out if you check those out right after we're done here. Looks good. I'll also link to a couple of my favorite here at the end of this video. You'll be able to click on those. It'll be super easy. Should be just about there. And then we've got one more thing. This is kind of the big aha moment, the big reveal. This is always the, the best part of showing this exercise to patients for the first time. Okay, so now what I want you to do, dismount your phone roller, turn the timer off, and then we're gonna lay down in that same position that you tried right before. And then just see how different that feels. See how different that pressure feels between your shoulders, how different it feels under your back and under your hips. There should be a lot more of your back in contact with the ground. It should actually be a lot more comfortable and a lot more supported for you to lay down in this position. 
And like I said, that's my favorite part of showing this to people. If you found a significant difference with that, I wanna hear from you. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me your experience with this routine. Be sure to check out, be sure to follow up with some of those strengthening exercises, those postural strengthening routines that I mentioned. I'm gonna go ahead and link some of them right here. These should really help you out. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet, I'd love to see you back for future videos. Hit the circle right here to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, we'll see you again soon right here on Tone and Titan.